Welcome! Do you want to see how the real pros use Ella and Ying? Today I will show you 7 fantastic tips from the pro league match between Flipside and Continuum that you can start using straight away to win more matches. Also please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And with that let's get straight into tip number 1. Okay we need to get into the offices. Hot and cold's already been spotted out there however Pojaman is inside a fountain. Now this is the reason you've got Bandit what playing an here. Oh, there's the top nade spot. No ADS gonna stop it from there. So this was an amazing nade. You just go up here, you cook it some, then you bounce it on the wall there. I will show you where this landed. And as you can see here, it landed right here. So if they're standing and playing this wall, like they had this time, they had a mirror here, they, you will get them with the grenade. And since you both cook it and take some time for it to drop down, they have no time to react to this grenade. So unless they have a Jaeger, they will not get away from this grenade. He's going to call out when the plant's going down. We're going to toss out that C4. Smoke grenade, I believe, are going to go down at the doorway. The Twitch got both of the mirror windows, I think. Impressive. There. Oh, it missed it again. Missed. Did its damage, but not all the way. And Adam gets it planted. The most common attack strategy when you're going to the server as an attacker is you breach this wall, you go and plant right inside here. And what the defenders usually do to counter this is they open up the wall, they have a hole ready up here, so they can throw a C4 or a smoke grenade so it lands right here and kills you when you plant. They usually also have barbed wire and everything here. So what Flipside did here, they threw smoke grenades so they covered this door and this hole that they had that was jam packed with smoke then you only have to worry about the people standing back here from the c4 or smoke grenades but then they have jing playing up here unfortunately this time her jing candela was a bit late so they got the first c4 throw away before the candela flashed them but but the, the thing they did, they were standing right here with this bridge, the chat hatch open, and just threw it down. You see, so it lands back here, and the people standing here trying to get the C4 off, unless they already pre aimed it and you're standing waiting, they will not get that C4 down perfect if they're total flashed. And also, since this wall was open, if someone is playing inside here, for example, they will also get flashed, so they, they flashed both the, the CCT room and the secure hallway. So very nice counter with Ying to try to deny the C4 and smoke throws from back here. Position Allow, allots him a lot of options. Now, flip side kind of just look like they're looking for any amount of any measure of control they can attain. MVK, ooh, this is a dangerous angle for Hot Cold to be straying into. He will be downed. MVK. This is a play you see on a lot of maps and it's very useful because it's hard to spot because it's such a small sliver that you open up so it's hard for attackers to see. But on this particular window it's even more useful because since it's on the second floor and they're coming down here, from this angle when they're looking up they can't see that it's a bit open at the bottom and even when they have, when they climb up here, this is where you shoot them when they get up here, even here. They can't see it, even if they look for it, because they're still below and looking up, so due to this frame here, they can't see that small opening. You see, it's super hard to see. Here you can see how it looks for defenders, you see you open up the bottom part, so you have this small opening here. Then you can just sit here, wait for them to climb up this bus, and just shoot them when trying to get to the window. And it's very hard for them, as I just showed you, to see you here. It's a very good spot to stay in. How close to those uh, goo, goo mines you have to be in order to trigger them? You have to actually step on them, whereas a, 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 opposed to that, you've got Ella traps, or Ella mines, the, that uh, you can be, well, a good distance, four meters away, and still trigger them, somehow, inexplicably. But I suppose that's why Legion has seven, and Ella has four. Now we are going to see Adam still stay inside of this hall. His red dot will give away his position if he keeps it on the wall, and the attacker is going to look that way. However, they're still wasting time. There's see, there's a barbed wire in the way, so it won't be an easy push just yet. Canadian's going to spot him on out. 
It looks as though Canadian might try to jump into the loan office top floor, the stock office. Adam's he playing. has done that. Adam goes for the shot, gets him down. Wonderful. So we saw a lot of Ella in this match, but no real strategies built around her. But this was, this was one example of how to hold uh, the position with Ella. So they place barbed wire here, so they can hear if they push this way. And you also have the right in the corner, so it would be harder to see for the attackers when they're coming in like this. They will not look down that corner, they will look towards the angles after defenders. And then when this goes, he was standing right here around the corner, just waiting to go out on them. Then, he also had barbed wire and a set inside here, it's a stock trading. And this is where he got the kill, because Canadian droned him out, jumped through the window, triggered the mine. And since he was standing right here, he was ready, so he just went in, got an easy kill when they're both concussed from the mine and in the barbed wire. It's a very smart example of how to use Ella to hold down a position with her barbed wire and her mines combined. He has been zapped numerous he, times. He dies to one or two, uh, he dies to one or two bullets from most of these rifles. And there's NVK tags one kill onto Adam, but Chapstick is there to get the refrag. Good refrag there, right, Chapstick? This is a very easy but super useful angle that more people should start to use. When you open up this hatch, what do you most of the time see people doing? They're standing here, watching this this hatch, like this. But if you open up a hole here, you can get a very tight angle all the way back here. And they can't see you when you sit there, I will show you. You see back here is where the shots landed. So if the, the defenders are standing here, you see, when they're at this point where you're shooting, they can't see up. The angle is off. So they need to come all the way here before they see you. And and when they are over here, you already kill them. So that opening up that little hole there is super useful to deny defenders coming through here. To the normal, normal strategy here on pink. That well, is the normal of the bomb site, but however, this setup is not necessarily the most normal setup we've seen when we're talking about archives and tellers. Slightly different, I suppose. I like the way they're doing it. They're doing it though. I mean, if you think about it, there's not a lot of vertical presence you can really exert onto the actual kitchen. The main kitchen wall towards square stairs is, you know, I don't. I, it's just it's an interesting thing. I, I'm not sure. I mean, you can see the long angle. That I really enjoy this mirror setup. They just turn the objective around and defend it partially from the staff room here. They have double mirrors here, one here, and one watching the open area. And to protect Mir who was playing here, they reinforce this entire wall. You have a castle barricade here. You also had Echo, who was tucked away here under the desk, using his Echo drone here to protect Mira. Then what she could do from here. She can stand behind her window, and you see, you can see all the way towards A, she can see B, and she can also see all the way towards, you see this the door, over here with A. So from that position, she can guard almost both sides, and you see, if the attackers come in here, see that's the mirror window, this is a very dangerous position for them to, to go through. So very smart here, and they have also opened up rotation for her so the wall closes here also for rotation and they had an impact grenade here so she can also go back in towards B quick and easy so very creative mirror play giving a very good view over the both objectives from one mirror window here doing so well currently yeah it looks like it's gonna be the same strategy from continuum they're taking control of um, well the map calls it detention I call it box and then they're going to be taking control of the supply room. Once they have supply room, they'll open up the long angle into A, using that ash charge on the wall. We'll see Canadian do that in just a moment. And then meanwhile, the rest of the attackers are... This was a very smart play by Canadian to get the longer angles on the defenders. What he did, he opened up here, came into the detention, then droned out here so it was clear. He moved on here, and with ash, one round he shot an ash charge, next one he brought a breaching charge. Either way works. But he opened up this wall, because when the defenders are playing inside server, when your attacker 
you always have the advantage on longer ranges. You have the ACOG, you have the more powerful rifles. So if you can hold this very long angle here, it's much easier for you to get the kills than for example if the defenders are sitting back here with the reflex sight trying to get to you. That's it for today. Remember to leave a like, comment, and if you're new to the channel, please remember to subscribe and I will see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,